Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm here to do an empties video. Um, I have a corner of my room that I just put all of my empty products, and once I notice that it's getting bigger, I decide to make a video. So, here is my empties video. I will start with candles and tarts, and then move on to body and beauty. I finished a Merry Marshmallow large jar from Yankee Candle. As you can see, it burned super clean. I got this as a Christmas gift from one of my best friends, and... This was a light scent throw, I would say. It was not super strong, but most Yankee Candles aren't. And I had this in my bedroom, but it was a nice, creamy marshmallow scent. I really liked it, but it's um, obviously not Christmas time anymore. That's how long this has been sitting here. So I got this like the week before Christmas, and just reviewing this now. Then... I got these, this at the Hallmark store, and this is a Yankee Candle tri pour candle in Fluffy Towels, beach, beach Wood, and Sun and Sand. So it was three layers, and this is the Smooth Wax, and as you can see, burned pretty clean. I put this in my bathroom because the first day I burned it with the Fluffy Towels, and it was not super strong at all in my room, so I moved it to the bathroom, and I got a scent through there, so... I burned this whole candle in my bathroom, and it was really good. It was a really cool transition between when they got to move the scents, because when they went to, like, Fluffy Towels and Beachwood, it was a very earthy, clean laundry scent, and when it went to Beachwood to Sun and Sand, it was, like, very suntan and wood. It was actually really, really cool. I like these. Um, I got those for free if I spent, like, $30. I don't remember what. I bought a Woodwick candle, I think. So I, I could get this for free, but it smells really good, and for it being smooth wax, it burned really well. I've been really liking the tumblers lately. That's from Yankee. Um, then for tarts, this was my first ever tart from Vintage Seek Sense that I melted, and this is in My Funny Valentine. Now, a scent from Lush I really like is Rose Jam, and... When this had rose jam in it, I was like, oh, yeah, because it's rose jam and lemon curd. And this smells amazing. And I put this in my party light warmer. Um, and I had this on for a day and a half straight, and it still gave me great scent. It faded about after the first day, but, I mean, I had it on all day. So it was a great scent. It was not overpowering overpoweringly strong, which was really good. It was just the right strength. I really liked it. I melted Snuggling Under the Stars from Front Porch. This is an older packaging, isn't it? I don't remember. I think the newer packaging is like... Ah, I don't know. And I don't even remember. This was so long ago and it doesn't even smell anymore. I don't even remember what this was like. <laughs> I did a whole three pack of teddy bears from Tiffany Candles in strawberry cotton candy. And this was really good. Um, I wanted to get rid of this though, so I did one in my room, one in the living room, and one in the kitchen. So I did it all in one day, and um, my whole house smelled like cotton candy with strawberries. It was actually really, really good. It was. I did that in the winter when I was not feeling like it would ever end. So, it was pretty cool. I liked that one. Then, another one from Front Porch that I melted was Pink Blueberry Noel. There's that one. And this is um, Pink Sugar, Blueberry, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Um, the Pink Sugar scent is just so overpowering that you can barely smell the blueberry. But it was nice. It was okay. I wouldn't... Nothing from Front Porch really, like, blows me away. I don't know why. Um, now for Bath and Body Works candles, I finished an Apple Crumble 3 wick, and it burned pretty well. That third wick just burned a little longer than the rest, and this was a medium scent throw. It was not super strong, but it was not super light either, and this just smells like a fresh apple crisp. It's super good. I love it. I finished a Mahogany Teakwood. And I really like Mahogany Teakwood. It's so nice. It reminds me of the Abercrombie store. As you can see, those two wicks burned a little longer than the third. But super strong. I've never had any issues with Mahogany Teakwood ever not throwing for me. It's always been 
super strong, and this again didn't disappoint. I love mahogany teak wood. I finished a coconut leaves, an older packaging coconut leaves, and this these all burned out at the same time. This one just got a oh, that one just got a little bit sootier than the rest. Um, this is nice. It's just like a fresh coconut scent with a little bit of papaya. I really like it. I finished a mint chocolate, and exactly as the name suggests, it smells like mint chocolate. A perfect balance between the two. Great Christmas holiday scent, and as you can see, it burned nice and clean. I finished a newer um, Hawaiian candle in mango dragon fruit, and I'm trying to remember this one. Again, this one burned clean all the way down. Um, I like it. It was a very um, subtle mango scent. It was not super strong, but... Um, I wouldn't want it to be any stronger. And there's that pretty lid. I finished a white bar number three, Renew and Refresh. This is my last one. I need to get more of this. This is my favorite fresh spring scent from Bath and Body Works. Currently, I'm burning spring. Um, and this one's very, very, very nice. It's just reminds me of when you open up the windows in the win in the in the winter time in the springtime and all the flowers and the fresh air this I believe I did burn again like in December whenever not December January whenever I was coated in snow the whole house was a uh, <laughs> covered in snow and I just wanted it to be springtime I finished um an ocean side from this year and this one I never really it's nice, but at the same time, it's just something too, like if it's too watery for me or something. I don't know, but that's what that one looks like. It burned really nice and clean. I'm not the biggest fan of this set, but this one is Peach Bellini, and this is also in that same collection. And this one, I love Peach Bellini. I have a couple of these still from a couple years ago. I don't know why I burned the newer one yet, but um, it's very yummy. Very fruity, very effervescent. It's I, I like it. And then the last candle that I have is Strawberry Sorbet from the Sweet Shop Collection. And um, this is like a creamy strawberry. And this one burned nice and clean. But um, it's just like a creamy strawberry milkshake. I really, really, really like that. So those were my empties video of candles. Now let's move on to the body stuff. I finished a 16 ounce philosophy shower gel in Granny's apple pie. Now let me tell you, this scent I was ready to get over with because I was not in the mood for apple pie type scents in the se in the season I'm in right now. But there was like this much left and I was there was no way I was going to leave this on my shelf with that much love. So I worked this, I used this as fast as I could, and it just smells like a fresh apple pie. It reminds me, it literally, it literally is apple crumble in shower gel form. I finished a, from L'Occitane, a miniature travel size almond shower oil. Let's see if that will focus. There we go. And I love this. It starts out as an oil on your skin, and then it just um, lathers up, and it's amazing. Um, I know I had another one here. Oh, here we go. I finished two lip balms, another one from Loxaton. This is the 10% Shea Butter Ultra Rich Lip Balm, and I really, really, really love love this lip balm. These two are actually probably my favorite lip balms. I need to get some more. <laughs> um so that was really nice. And then the other one is I call my luxury lip balm is from Fresh and it is the Sugar Advanced Lip Therapy. This is almost like an anti-aging um, chapstick. I put this one on in the morning and at night and then the other one out throughout the day, throughout the end of the day. But I really like this and it's like a nice lemony scent. So I finished two soaps. I finished the Sugar Berry Shortcake foaming soap and this was just you know a soap nothing too exciting and this one 
as it's been sitting here, I noticed that it settled a lot, so I might get a couple more uses out of it. And this is the Island Margarita Deep Cleansing Soap. These are both older packaging. I've had this, I have like 10 of these because I bought these at some annual sale because it's my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. I finished two lotions. I finished a Living Grace Whip Body Cream. This is my absolute favorite way to moisturize right now is the Whip Body Creams from Philosophy, and I scraped this out every last drop. I have another 16-ounce shower gel, um, or another 16, a big 16-ounce whip body cream from Philosophy in um, Amazing Grace, and I believe April 12th, which is six days from today, um, or this film, this probably won't go up till then, um, QVC has a Today Special Value with it. Then I finished a Josie Marin um, Be Comforted Whipped Argon Oil Body Butter. Let me see if this will focus. It, this one won't. There we go. And um, this has the tiniest amount left in it, if you can even say that. This smells like, to a T, the Keurig Hot Apple Cider. It smells exactly like it to a T. Um... I love her Argon Oil Body Butter. I actually just ordered a Super Size Illuminating Body Butter. It'll be here tomorrow. We love that. And then I finished from the Bathing Garden the Sea of Tears Creamy Sugar Scrub. And this was nice. This was the first ever Bathing Garden scrub I've had. There's just the tiniest bit left. I'm currently using the Pomegranate Lime Sweet Tart one. I'm loving the bath the Bathing Garden body scrubs though. But anyway, that was my empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!